Hey everyone, welcome back to Fiber by Nature. Today, it's been really rainy and gloomy outside, so I figured I'd sit down and teach you guys how to spin something. And today, I'm gonna show you how to spin some silk hankies. Um, for those of you who don't know what they are, they are basically stretched out silk cocoons, which I'll show you over here. And um, they're really fun and easy to spin. Now, I do have a video <laughs> on this that I made ages ago. Um, but this is going to be a little updated with a little bit more tips and tricks. Uh, I will also be using a wheel, whereas in the last video I used a, uh, spindle. And, um, let's get started. So, when you get a pack of silk hankies, they come in a stack like this. Nice, pretty stack. And basically, they're just layers of cocoons, so you're going to want to take stack apart uh i did get these from a place called nice stock farms i will link them in the description below so there are layers of cocoons that have been stretched out and put on top of each other on a frame which i have some cocoons and i really hope to try this out in the future but for now this will make do. So you're just gonna, you know, split it, it into as fine layers as you can. Obviously the ends are gonna be a little thicker, um, but the more they have on one hanky, the more, the longer your strip is gonna be, which I'll show you how to do that in a second, but don't have too much that it's impossible to stretch out. Okay, so once you've taken a layer off of your hanky, what you're going to do is you're going to take your fingers and just make a hole in the middle of it and stretch your hanky out so you're going to get a nice long strip. But uh, you can easily cut with yourself with this because since the staple length is so long, if you pull it tight enough, you might catch that and it'll break your skin, which I have done multiple times. And trust me, it's not very comfortable. But one way that I like to do it without hurting your fingers is to just make a hole like I showed you in the middle of the hanky and then put it on a doorknob so that you can stretch it out on the door and like so. And you're not creating that much pressure on your fingers and it's also a lot more efficient when you're using a lot of hankies. It's a lot quicker as well. So yeah. Let's keep on doing this. You also want to make sure that you have an even strip and you don't want large thick sections like this. So it's easier to do this by hand. You're gonna take, like you're doing it normally without the norm, but you want to have far distance so that you're not cutting your fingers and kind of pull it and draft it out. And the thinner it becomes, the easier it becomes to draft. And now you have a nice even section. Something that I do want to mention about that technique though is that while it can be really useful when dealing with like big stacks, when you have really thin layers of hankies, um, it's really easier to do it by hand because it just goes so quickly um, and that one you might end up ripping it by accident. Uh, so it's just something to keep in mind when you're using them. Once you've finished uh, stretching out all your hankies, you can wind them into little bundles like this. Or you can, like in my last video I showed, you can wind it around paper towel roll or toilet paper roll, have you. And next, silk gets everywhere, so you might want to wear an apron. And if you have dry hands, uh, like mine, especially if you're spinning during winter, you might want to have some hand cream with you. So, let's get okay. started. So, once you're at your wheel, I'm using a Loet S10 today. Once you're at your wheel, you want to have your 10, your... Uh, whirl on either a high or a medium 
I'm going to have mine on high today. And you're going to have a leader like always. And you're just going to pretty much start like usual. Uh, you might also want to draft out at the end a little bit. And just start spinning like normal. Okay, so the reason why I said you want to have a nice and even thing is because when you're spinning so kankies, I'm going to turn down my speed a little bit so you can, can demonstrate, is that when you're spinning, since... Like I said before, silk has really long staple lengths. So it's once you're spinning, it can be hard to draft it out sometimes. So you're basically pre-drafting uh, when you're uh, pulling the hankies out. And if you have nice even strips, it's really easy. You just kind of let the work be done all by the spinning wheel. And you kind of just have to guide the fiber and let the twist enter. And then it's, yeah, it's really easy. You kind of just let the twist uh, make the yarn and even out some spots. And that's pretty much how you spin so hankies. Now, if the spots do get really thin, don't worry. You can, again, always ply it. But silk is really strong, so it can usually be pretty thin. Now, you don't want things to be this thin. So what I suggest is once you get to that spot, is to break it and overlap it with the next, with farther down it, farther down the strip. So then you have double layer. Again, you can always draft it out a little bit if you want to, but it really helps to pre-draft it nice and easily before, so you can have a really quick and fast and efficient spin. I think this is the perfect opportunity to so show what to do when your silk hankies snap. So, obviously you're going to thread it through the back through the flyer and orifice. Get the camera a bit so you can see. And, uh, as you can see, mine is a little untwisted. Uh, so what you're going to do is the section that broke off, that really thin section, if that's how it broke, is you're just, or in general, you're just going to take that part off, since that part is usually uh, over-twisted or just doesn't have enough fiber. And you're just going to take both ends that are kind of wispy, and you're just going to overlap them, kind of draft and twist it their palm together and just kind of introduce some twist and help twist it together and there you go A seamless perfect join forget to mention is that if you are not using the doorknob technique and you're doing the standard pull um one thing i forgot to mention is you never want to pull like this this is how you're going to hurt yourself because you're pulling against yourself you want to pull like you're going to shoot a bow and arrow like that this is because you're pulling against the silk and not against yourself so here is the better way and non-painful way to stretch out your hanky like so right let's get back at spinning okay and let's get back to okay so here's the finished skein uh it came out to roughly 225 yards. Uh, I'm super happy with how it came out. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys learned something. 
um or got some tips and i hope to see you guys in the next video bye